In this study, the researchers used a combination of fluorescent antibodies to neurofilament proteins and confocal microscopy. The distribution of the mechanoreceptors, including Ruffini receptors, was symmetrical between the right and left, and homogeneous along the course of the ligament. The Ruffini receptors were typically located close to the collagen bundles. The researchers suggested that the mechanoreceptors may play a role in the pathogenesis of scoliosis. Roberts and colleagues examined tissue from the intervertebral discs for the presence of Ruffini receptors, as well as other receptor types in people with scoliosis and low back pain, as well as bovine specimens. Immunoreactivity was used to identify neural antigens and a morphological analysis was undertaken. The researchers identified receptors which resembled Ruffini receptors, although less frequently than Golgi tendon organs. The mechanoreceptors as a group were identified in the discs of 50% of subjects with lower back pain and 15% of subjects with scoliosis. The mechanoreceptors were identified in the outermost lamellae of the intervertebral discs. They were also identified in the anterior longitudinal ligaments. There were various implications of having mechanoreceptors in the intervertebral discs. The ileolumbar ligament attaches to the lumbar spine and the iliac crest, helping to stabilise the lumbosacral joint. In this study, the researchers examined the distribution of mechanoreceptors in 30 human ileolumbar ligaments post-mortem, using antibody-based immunohistochemistry. The insertion of the ligament into the iliac crest contained the highest density of mechanoreceptors. The Ruffini receptors were the second most common type of mechanoreceptor identified. The researchers suggest a role for the ileolumbar ligament in proprioception. <laughs> 